Can this really be the best ball in golf? What, what ball is it? We got the Strixon Z-Star, Strixon Z-Star XV, and the Z-Star Diamond. Yeah, so as Tate said, this is the number one golf ball in the world. And Strixon is actually owned by the largest rubber company in the entire world. Yeah, makes sense. So they should be able to make the best ball in the world. Yeah. And it's the most popular ball in the world, but it's not the most popular ball in golf. On tour. If that makes any yeah. sense. The question is, is this thing's been getting a ton of hype. And what I want to know is, is it good enough to take down Pro V1? <laughs> and more importantly, you know, I hate this when brands take on three different balls. What the heck's the difference between the three? We're going to explain the difference in the three. And most importantly, can it take down the number one ball in golf since it is the number one ball in the world? Let's go. Don't forget guys, if you're in the Denver metro area or anywhere in Colorado, drive here to see us, get fitted for one of the brands that we carry, hit some balls, get some swag. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing you can do that helps us out a ton is check out our barbecue YouTube channel. That's what feeds all of this. It's yep. a sweet channel, a lot of sweet videos coming out. Yeah, definitely. Guys, pay attention throughout this whole video because Trevor, what's the giveaway we're doing today? Um, it's by far our most popular giveaway, the ones we've had the most requests about, the most comments about. Begging um, us to do this A couple weeks ago, we announced we're giving away a Gen 6, PXG Gen 6 driver, $500 driver. Um, we're announcing the giveaway of that at some point in this video. We're not yeah. telling you where. No. So uh, watch. You got to watch Pay the whole attention. video. And it's the only place we are going to announce it is in this video. Yeah. Today's the day, guys. Pay attention. So the thing is, is uh, I hadn't really heard of Strixon golf balls or, or really cared much about them at all in a long, like I should say in a long time, just never. Yeah. Ever. Uh, but these things are getting a ton of hype this year. Yeah. Last it's, season, it seemed like I started finding them more. Yeah, they're all over. Yeah. And when you watch golf tournaments on TV, it's popping up a lot more. Yeah. Srixon is like really, I don't know the percentages, but I'm sure their golf ball market share, especially at the tour, you know, $50 price point level, is starting to do this like crazy. Yeah. So we'll show you a chart here, but essentially we have the Z-Star, the Z-Star Diamond, and the Z-Star XV. So the regular Z-Star is going to be like probably the closest to like a Pro V1. It's the softest. It's going to have the most amount of green side, green side spin, which is important. Mm -hmm. um, low driver spin. That's big. Which is important. Mm -hmm. And then sort of a mid ball flight. The Z-Star XV is going to be more like a Pro V1X type ball. Yeah. So it's going to have a higher trajectory, a little lower spin around the green side, probably the lowest of the three around the greens. And then the diamond, I think, is the blend between the three of them. The diamond is what intrigues me the most and the one that I'm most curious about. Yeah. I think the diamond's going to fit my game the best because I struggle with having a high ball flight with my irons. Yeah. So it has the highest mid-iron spin. So I need more spin with my mid-irons. And it's got the word diamond in it. Exactly. That just sounds high class. That's what I was thinking. Yep. So it has higher greenside spin than the LV, but here's the problem. It's got more driver spin. Yeah. And I struggle with driver spin. I have too much spin. There isn't a ball on here that checks every single box for me. I'm gonna have to compromise somewhere, yeah. I think. But I think that's every golf ball. Yeah. You exactly. have to pick one of the two. So we're gonna go through the test. We know our Pro V1 baselines from all of our other videos we've yep. done. And we're gonna see if there's any dr drastic distances be or drastic stat changes as far as spin, launch, and Yardage yeah, and ball speed. And we all know the Pro V1, it's a great ball, obviously. But can it take it down? I'm excited to see this. Yeah. Okay, what should we start with? Just the classic Z-Star? Z-Star, I think, is to keep it simple. Keep it simple. You go first. Now we're doing... How do we do this? 50 yard chip shots, mid iron, seven iron. Yep. And then, of course, driver. Yep. So on boom, boom, boom. 50 yard chip shots, we're not, we don't really care about yardage. We care about ball flight and backspin. Yep. It's the number one most important thing. We also forgot, stay tuned towards the end of this video. We're doing, announcing our giveaways like we always do. And uh, we'll tell you what we're giving away. Take it to it. All right, brother. So here we got pulled up. We got Trevor with the Z-Star 60. Go ahead. 
So my Pro V1, I'm really struggling with ball spin right now. I have such a steep attack angle, it's hard for me to get good ball spin. So my Pro V1, I'm right around 6,000 RPMs. Uh, my backspin with the Z-Star is 5982. Mm -hmm. So basically right on par with that. My Pro V1, I'm averaging around like 38 degrees. Mm -hmm. So at a higher descent angle, 40 degrees. By almost three degrees. So a little bit higher, I'm coming in a little bit higher. And then launch angle is where we're coming upwards. So I'm at 35 degrees, so your launch angle up, descent angle down, and backspin. Those are really the three important things we're looking for with wedges. Yeah, those are gonna be what make it stick. Yeah, so right. so far nothing nothing jumping off the page. The regular Z-Star is like Z -Star. right on par with the Pro V1. My Z-Star, my Pro V1 I was averaging like 8,000 spin, 35 up, and 43 down. So here I got 36 up, so one degree higher, 8,000 RPM right where my Pro V1 is and where's my descent angle 44.2 so right, you're right right on par it's an identical descent angle to my pro v1 so so, so far we could say on wedge play apples the z apples. star regular z star is right on par with the pro v1 yeah the regular pro v1 yeah okay let's look at the z star x iv or xv xv like for 15 must be okay um yeah okay here's mine so i jumped up 500 rpms in spin almost 6500 rpms which is weird because the regular one is supposed to give you the most amount of greenside spin. Yep. So I went up in ball spin, and I'll tell you consistently, we took out any miss hits because we wanted to be very analytical on the data and make sure we were apples to apples on everything. Launch angle is about a little shallower though, 40, 40 degrees. So about the same, but I about the same as the regular Z Star, but I generated more spin. More spin. About 600 RPMs more. So nice. I would take uh, so far around the greens. That's my ball. The Z XV. So far. Yeah. Which is weird because it's supposed to have less spin. Yeah. All right. So, so far, this one has been, just from what I'm seeing, 36 up, same there, 8,000 spin, 70, so only 70 RPMs more and 43 and eighth. About the so same. So, again, identical. Okay. Yep. All right. So, now the diamond, which is getting a lot of hype because it's supposed to be a blend between the two balls. Yeah. So, the diamond gave me the most amount of spin. Mm-hmm. So it's 6,800 RPM, so pushing 7,000. And um, on the simulator, I could see it. I had a little bit higher ball flight too, about 40 degrees, which still isn't great, I'm sorry, on my descent angle. And then launch angle is about the same. But again, the, the diamond generated the most amount of spin for me around the green. So around the greens, out of the Strixon balls, the diamond is my ball. And in fact, it blew away the Pro V1. Yeah, so for golfers out there, 50 yards and in, that's where you can't have those duffs, those mistakes. You need it to stick yeah. where you need it to. So, yeah. so far for you. And 68 still low. Yeah, diamond's got you. All right, for me, the Z-Star diamond, 40, 40 degree, or right, 34, good, 34 degree launch angle. That's great. A little lower than my, my average here was, no, it's higher. It's, yeah, a little lower, two degrees less, but 8,500 RPM. So I got 500 RPMs more in spin. And I think around the greens, your spin rate's more important than ball flight. Yes. Because the ball's getting up no matter what. Yeah. And it's spinning. At, at 8,500 RPMs of spin, you might hop once and stop dead in your tracks. 10,000 is when you start whipping backwards, but 8,500, that's that one hop, you know, so, halt. So far around the greens, the Z-Star Diamond is easily better than the Pro V1 mm -hmm. and it's easily our ball. Yeah. That's our ball. So category number one, 60 or, or 50 yards out. 60 degree wedge. Well, we could just call it wedge play. Wedge play, which one wins? Z-Star Diamond. Z-Star Diamond, Easily. I agree. Yep. Easily, for both of us. All right, now let's try mid-irons. Seven irons, let's do it. Now, with mid-irons, we're gonna pay more attention to descent angle and launch angle, mm -hmm. because that's what's gonna get the ball to stop, yeah. too. Because spin's important, but if yeah. you're hitting line drives, it doesn't matter yeah. how much spin you have, it's not stopping. Z-Star, the regular Z-Star, mid-iron, here we go. There's a couple good ones in a row. Okay, so the regular Z Star, just for reference, my Pro V1. Again, I'm. I know this is low, but my spin rate's around 5,000 RPMs with a seven iron. I'm at 46.39, which is not good. So it was lower with the regular uh, Z-Star. 
Launch angle of probe V1 was 17, I'm 15.6, that's not good. Descent angle was 37, uh, Z star was 35, everything's lower. Ball speed, ball speed was about the same. So for me, the Z, the regular Z star, not a fan of. Wasn't a fan of it yeah. with the wedge, not a fan of it with the. Yeah. Okay. So for me, mid iron, um, same ball speed, 117. Launch angle, I had better launch angle with the Z star. I had more spin with the Z star than the Pro V1. Pro V1, I was about 5,000 here, I'm 5,500. And descent angle, I was 35 with the Pro V1, 35 here with the Z star. So about the same. Overall, the Z star was apples to apples with the Pro V1 for me. It gave me a little more spin, but all the other figures are almost identical. Okay. Now let's look at the XV. Okay, Trev, what are we looking at here with the XV? Uh, XV isn't much better. I mean, I'm 4,500 RPMs, so lower. Than the Pro V? Yeah, lower mm -hmm. than the Pro V. 19 degree launch angle, so a little bit higher there. Descent angle around the same. Mm -hmm. Ball speed again around the same. Yeah. Okay, for me, the Z-Star XV, 118 ball speed, so I got one mile an hour of ball speed. Same spin, 5180 as higher. opposed to 4980. A little higher. So 100 RPMs more. Descent angle was 36 instead of 35. So on paper, the XV would beat out the Pro V1 for me. Yeah. With a mid iron. So again, both of them were right on par with the Pro V. Minuscule differences, but the XV did perform better. Okay, so the Z Star Diamond, uh, a little bit up on RPM, so that's 5138, so slightly higher, but almost 43 degrees descent angle. So mm -hmm. I gained almost five degrees of descent angle, which is huge. So it did launch higher. And on the back of the box, they say the diamond has the highest launch angle for irons, mid irons. And, and a happened? 19 degree launch angle. Yeah, it did wow, happen. Wow, that's awesome. So it was the highest launching and higher than my Pro V1. Yeah. Okay, so for me, the Z-Star diamond, the one I was probably the most excited about after the first two tests, or the first test, now here with the mid iron, I lost one mile an hour of ball speed, but I gained a full degree of, of launch angle. I gained a thousand RPMs in spin. So almost 6,000 RPMs. I'd still even want that a little higher mm -hmm. with my seven iron, but that's a thousand better than the Pro V1. And the descent angle was three degrees better. So the Z Star Diamond right now, if all four balls are on the table, Pro V1 and the three Strixons, the diamond so far is in the bag. Oh yeah. But let's put it the, the most important, the Driver. biggest, hardest club on it. Driver. We got the regular Z Star here. Driver, 300 yards. Let's see what we can do. Missed it left, but it's going a mile. Cream City. Cream City, that's right, right on the dot. That one's going to Cream City. All right, brother, go ahead. What'd you think with the driver, the big stick? Um, pretty good. I was hitting it pretty good. So no, I'm normally around 140 mile an hour, about 40 mile an hour. 105 mile an hour. Ah, we were swinging. Anyways, uh, 140 mile an hour ball speed. Z Star was right there, 140 miles an hour. Pro V1, I'm like 4,000 RPM spin. Spin, I was at 3,000. So that's really good for me. Mm -hmm. I'm normally about 250 rollout. Um, I was 273 rollout, but that's because I generated less spin with the driver. Yeah. So um, Z Star was definitely better than the Pro V1. Yeah. How about you? For me, um, I was 163 ball speed with my Pro V1, 159. So I lost a couple miles an hour. I had less spin with the V Star, 100 RPMs less. Um, got the Titleist Pro V1 higher though by five degrees. Yeah, that and doesn't then matter. Ten that yards. Much on driver. 10 yards further with the Pro V1. Okay. So Z Star, the plain Z Star to Pro V1, Pro V1 wins. Okay, let's go to the XV. So I had higher spin with the XV, uh, 3,500. Ball, ball speed was around the same, a little bit lower, 138, 252 carry. So that's what's gonna happen when you generate extra spin. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah, same thing. Ball speed was up there, um, higher spin, 500 RPMs of spin, but the distance was 290. So I only lost seven yards to the Pro V1, to the XV, but still 
probably one off the tee box, I think. So yep. for Let's me. go to the diamond, which I'm most excited yep. about because I want this one to be the best. Yep. So lowest spin, 28.75. That's really low for me. 148 miles an hour, so I'm about eight miles an hour faster. And 283 carry, so my furthest. Yeah. So Z Star Diamond won in every single category. It's the better ball for me mm -hmm. in all three categories. Okay, for me, 159 ball speed, about the same high spin for me with the diamond. Was that a couple bad shots though? It was a couple bad shots. It was the last ball we hit, so I was a little fatigued. Um, 275 distance, so it, it didn't compare to the Pro V1. The Pro V1, on, on driver, the Pro V1 has dominated every ball. Okay, but here's the question. Would you put this in the bag over a Pro V1? And if so, which one? If I was picking a ball to put in over the Pro V1, it would be the diamond, hands down. But would you do it? Getting off the tee box is so important. If you can't get off the box straight and far, mm -hmm. it's gonna affect the rest of your game. Even though the mid iron and the short iron beat out the Pro V1, I would be tempted to keep the Pro V1 just to get off the box. So for me, it was better in all three categories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yours was pretty obvious. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you. Well, you didn't say which ball. The diamond. The diamond. The diamond, just holding it in your hand, even though the regular one's supposed to be the softest, it, this one feels the softest in your hand. And I like the gold number. Yeah. It's kind of cool. The diamond gold. Um, Here you go. It, it not only is going and would Don't go in, in the yet. bag Don't over that, it, 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 it is going in the bag. Yeah. Pro yeah. V1's out of the bag. Yeah. In fact, I've never really been a big Pro V1 guy. Yeah. Um, if I anything, liked, you're TP5. I like TP5s a lot. But um, what do you think about uh, looking at these balls? They all seem like they kept up pretty yeah. good. Yeah, they held up pretty good. Them, wedges tore them up a little bit, but yeah. they're going to do that to any premium ball. Yeah, but uh, Z-Star Diamond exceeded my expectations, and that 100% yeah. is going to go, go in the bag, I yeah. think. Well, I won't say that because we haven't done our yeah. bag review. what's in the bag? It's up there. It's a contender. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, it is time. Probably the biggest giveaway we've done as of yet. Definitely the most popular one. Yeah. People are begging for us to do this giveaway. It's about to happen. Tell them who the winner is. We have the winner of the PXG Gen 6 driver, Zach Mullis. And his comment was, man, y'all already have the Gen 6. That is awesome. Hoping to win that Gen 6. Well, guess, guess what, Zach? You won. You did it. All right. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the comment. Go to our YouTube about us. Email us. Yeah. In this video, we're going to give away a two-pack, a 24-pack of Srixon Z-Stars. It's a $65 box of balls, brother. Yeah, it is. And you know what? They're better than the Pro V1s. I'm just going to say it. Yeah. They're better. Yeah. So get uh, yourself Actually, a pack. this is, you're going to get 24 balls. 23 are brand new. One was, was used in, in this demo. test. So. so we'll see you guys next yeah, time. Yeah, what do you have to do to win that? Real quick. Subscribe and comment on this video and you'll be entered for a chance to win these. That's it. Thanks guys.